What's up boys and girls? This is your gamer girl Jessie and today we are going to play another game dev game. What? We're gonna play another indie game made by a game developer that I volunteered to play. So today we are going to play Happy Safari. Yeah, I don't know, but let's just check it out. Scene one, take one, Happy Safari. Or Happy Safari? Well, that was a long wait. Yes, I agree to the terms. Welcome to Happy Safari. Our mission here is to save endangered animals. Please come in. This is our Central Africa area. It's a bit smelly in here and our visitors won't pay to see a smell. Clean up this enclosure first and I'm sure visitors will start to donate. Yes, this is the kind of tutorial that I want to see in the previous games that I've played. Uh oh. So, that's better. A clear zoo brings in more donations. So what I'm trying to say is, they have a tutorial, they don't, you don't just drop instructions all at the same time and let the gamers memorize it. Because, come on, not everyone is just gonna remember every single detail, even if some of them are self-explanatory. They won't remember all of the details. Like, it should be something like this, like, they show you something, and then press OK, and then you gotta do it, like, cleaning up the poop. Ah, I see the donation box is full, collect your money now. See, she, she gave me an instruction earlier to clean, so I, I know that what I'm supposed to do is gonna clean. And in the next instruction, we are going to collect. That's it, you'll need this money to go on safaris, safaris and expand the zoo. As you can see, we've just got one animal at the moment. Our lonely giraffe longs for a mate. Let's go on a suffer expedition to find a partner for our friend here. So, that's, those, those, that's the kind of tutorial that would actually be really helpful for new gamers or new players. Find animal tracks that will lead us to where the animals are right now. We have 10 chances to find some. I kind of didn't get that. Oh my goodness. My senses are off. You found one of the four tracks. One track gives you one attempt to catch an animal. It might be enough. Really? They're just... Oh. Move the crosshairs and try to catch one of the animals. You've got a limited amount of nets, so aim carefully. Oh my gosh. No! Yes, thank you for the darts. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! Fast darts. Thank you. That was so awesome. That experience is awesome. I like it. I enjoyed that part. I just kidding you, specimen. Thank you. Thank you. Hey cutie! Well done, you got one! Our giraffe has a friend, but I wonder if they like each other. <laughs> Let's breed! Ow! Oh. Okay, wow! Gosh, they seem to really like it in there. I must like to take their time to complete this part, but you can rush them along if you want to. Yeah, let's skip it, stop it. It's a baby giraffe! Oh, we separate the baby. Our mission is to release new animals back into the wild, but this one needs to grow up first. Our little giraffe must be hungry. Here's some food. Oh! Nice! We'll take a nap after each feed, but once they have enough food, you can release them into the wild. The more animals you rescue, the more donations you get, so keep looking for new animals. There's a whole world of endangered animals that need our help. Well, wow, thank you. Well, uh, so far I really like the game. It's uh, other than it's cute. It's 
other than it's cute, nice, uh, mellow music. Uh, I like the concept of the game, especially the catching part. It was really fun. It's like playing Pokemon, but you don't have to rely on chances, like allowing the Pokeball to get you. Yeah, let's go. What do you mean by visit and close? Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Well, that part wasn't explained, but it's okay. It was fun. It was nice. No, I can clean it myself. Thank you. Okay, it's really, really fun. So let's try playing it. Let's spend 140. Yes, we're going hunting again. This is actually the fun part. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. All right, we're supposed. To... Yes. Okay, they're not close to each other this time. What? Come on, Jesse. Pull it together. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Wow. Well played. Well played. Just by the entrance. Is it yours? It looks like you've earned a reward. Thank you. The more days you come back to visit, the bigger the rewards. If you come back tomorrow, you'll get even more jewels. Wow, I'm already on day six. Okay. Can you the animals in the animal list? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't able to catch an elephant. Critically endangered. Okay, can press anything. Oh, CR. I know, critically endangered. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So I need to catch more. Uh, thanks. How do I go? Oh, entrance. Let's first visit the enclosure. Oh good, there are missions and achievements. Right, one of the things that also makes a game interesting is that... No poopy? Oh, they can breathe again. Yeah, sure, let's breathe. We need to make more babies. So one of the things that I like about games is that there are rewards waiting, there are achievements, and there are missions. Because those are the things that gives me... Those are the things that gives me something to do, other than just uh, blindly playing. What? I pick up food. I don't know where. Th these are really kind people. So yeah, that's, those are one of the things that I, I'm hoping to see in a game. And it would be much better if there is an actual store. Usually, it helps uh, gamers or me to stick in a game because I want to stick to the story, you know, it's some kind of, something like Harvest Moon, since, you know, you guys make this game, maybe there's a story, like, I have, and it's okay if I don't have a character, or it's, just, or it's a first person thing, like, there should be something, I, because there are re repeated achievements, or repeated, uh, goals to do, like, they want you to, what, what are the missions, like this one. Capture three Central Africa animals, and then after a while, when we when we succeed, they're going with capture five Central Africa animals. So yeah, that was that was uh, that's what I'm trying to point out. Like these uh, things, it's uh, it's repeated. It's a repeated kind of achievement, which one day gamers will just have to like stop playing. But if there's, but if it's an actual game, there, I mean, if there's this, this game, there's something that they want to achieve. Yes, we've got a baby giraffe. No, the 
potatoes like it. So yeah, uh, this is a really fun game. I think this is gonna stick with my phone for a while. I'm gonna be playing it. And I can pick a food. Now, uh, another thing about games is that I know that there's an in-game purchase so they could benefit from it, but not all players or gamers, especially if they're the target audience are kids or students, they don't have like money to buy to buy in-game things like this. Yeah. So yeah, I, I get it that yes you can buy with this with coins, but we also need the coins so we could travel. Because it's also a challenge to hunt and you get to spend before you can travel and there are also other things that you can buy. I guess it's also nice that you can pick up stuff like that. So yeah, uh, those are just one of the uh, I think the disadvantages of the game of games like that. Because I played, I don't know, I forgot the title of that game, but everything is you have to buy everything. Like with your real money, you have to make in-game in purchases so that you can benefit or have an advantage or level up in a way that you will not show up a loser or for you to fully enjoy the game it's, and that's that's really unfair to people who are who are who doesn't have or are having financial problems or crisis that's why the game is for free because they are they they they, they need they, they don't have money for it uh, and also i understand that game devs need to earn something for making such a wonderful game but they should consider that not all the customers or the gamers or clients or players actually has a something something. Maybe for extra and stuff, that's okay, but for every everything to be just bought by in-game purchase, that's, uh, that's a no-no for me. Well, for me, I don't know how I just would really take it. But I would, I would eventually just uninstall the game if that were so. So that will be all. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I really enjoyed the game. And this will be staying with me for a while because it's been really fun. Uh, I hope you guys will check it out and let us show support to these game devs. Also, if you want to download and play this game as well, especially I know you're tempted because you want to play the Pokemon style hunting thing, you can check out the link below for the download link. Check the description for the download link and we will be playing this together. Although this is not a multiplayer thing, but... Yeah, that will be all. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.